so cool. Dude. No freaking way, man. What is going on guys? Caleb here. Welcome back to the channel. I found out today that there may be another vintage Pokemon collection that I can maybe get my hands on. So that is exactly what we're going to do. I'll take you with me. Let's go see if we can get a dub. Unfortunately, I can't share with you guys all my secrets and trades to scoring all of these vintage collections because I am in fact a cheeser and that is just basically what it is, man. So I did get the green light to run up to their house and pick this bad boy up. So I'm going to take you guys with me. We're going to bring it back to the house. We're going to open it up. We're going to check it out. We're going to go through whatever it is. We're going to sleeve up some stuff. Hopefully we get a dub. Let's check this thing out, man. That's it. Well, she said you were gonna pick some of it. Oops. I, oh boy, I think I, oh my. There's a lot of it. Yeah, the, definitely this binder. What's going on guys? We are back at the crib. We got the dub. Let's go ahead and actually just flip the camera and go through this thing. I'll take you guys with me. There is quite a few pages in this bad boy. I'm not going to price everything or anything, but we're just going to take a look and see what we got. All right, you guys, here it is the big binder. This thing is freaking heavy. It is freaking sick. All right. Truthfully, this set was actually just from a good friend of mine growing up. Um, it's just been sitting at her parents house for about 25 years So I thought hey, man I should probably just try and go get my hands on that bad boy and you know what? I just a little bit of charm and and we got it So we already kind of know that there's some heat in here for sure I got a little glimpse at the house, but we're gonna get the full thing right here together. Let's go <laughs> Shut the F up dude. All right. Well right out the gate. We were blessed by the First nine Pokemon cards are the first nine cards of base set, so that is obviously amazing. They are unfortunately in a binder, so we're gonna definitely get some of these in sleeves. But anyways, let's take a look here. We got you know base set Bulbasaur, Ivysaur. That is actually um, legendary collection. I don't know if you guys can see that right there. So that is still super cool. And then of course we got Charmander, Charmeleon. That is a base set Charizard right there. Still, absolutely beautiful. There's, man, nothing cooler than a base set or this print Zard, I, I think. It's just my favorite. It's my definite favorite because, you know, that was, that was just my favorite growing up. And then Bulbasaur, or, uh, yeah, Bulbasaur. No, freaking Bulbasaur. Squirtle, War Turtle, and Blastoise. I'm like an idiot. I can't even see his name, but I don't know why I called him that. So awesome. That is a base set to Blastoise. Oh, man. Even just, like, looking at other people's collections, it is just so fun. All right, let's get a flippy here. Let's go. We're not going to do this super duper, you know, drawn out, but we'll do it a little bit, I guess. Caterpie, man, she definitely has this put into a very nice order, which is awesome. Uh, yeah, I, I, I definitely love that. So we got Caterpie, Metapod, Butterfree, some more just base set. Um, then we got more Legendary Collection. We got some Jungle. Dude, same, same up here. More base set. More jungle. They are all in um, Pokédex entry order, which is freaking awesome. I actually memorized all 150 of these when I was in like fifth grade. I definitely don't have it now, but super cool. Some fossil, Pikachu, Raichu, Sandshrew. Amazing, amazing. All right, okay. Got some more hollows. Dude, I thought we were just like running out of hollows, but you know, we're in order here. We're in freaking Pokédex order. Oh, man. There is nothing cooler than a vintage collection from your childhood and just like really connecting with that. You know what I mean? Nido Queen, Hollow, Base Set. All these seem to be in good condition. They've definitely sat there. They weren't played for the last 20 years. So cool. And then Clefairy and then our Jungle Clefable right there. Oh my goodness. That is such a nice, you know, group of hollows right there. All right. Other page. Next page. Vulpix, Ninetales, Jigglypuff. Oh, Wigglytuff. This is Wigglytuff base set two. So nice. Jungle down here. I, I love the order of this. This is the best order. It's not by set, but um, the Pokedex entry, which is nice. 
Oh my goodness. Wow. This is just this never gets old, you guys. Literally checking out vintage collections. There is there is nothing that gets, that gets old about this. And dude, there's a lot of things in here. So I'm kind of curious of what else we got going on. More more stuff here. We got a base set to Polyrath right there. Hollow looks great. Oh, there we go. Number one of 102, base set Alakazam. Legend. What an absolute legend. Keep going. First edition Machamp, of course. I uh, got the rest of them here. Man, so nice, so nice. This one's actually a first edition. Tentacruel, or Tentacruel, very cool. First edition Tentacruel, very Tentacruel. Shut up, me. Oh, dude, nice. There we go. Keep it going, man. We got a dark muck here. Couldn't secure the regular muck, I guess. That's all right. Still so cool. Man, that hollow Gengar. Tell me that you'd never get old of seeing that holographic Gengar right there. Never in a million years would you ever get tired of seeing that artwork, that hollow. Looks so good. We also got the hollow Haunter up there. Oh, my goodness. Absolutely beautiful. Some more good stuff right there. We got these two. I've always really loved these two, Hitmonlee and Hitmonchan. I know it's kind of weird, but I've always really, really liked them. For the longest time, I actually didn't think that Hitmonlee had arms, but he, he does have arms. I just kind of forgot. I thought he was just like a potato with legs, but still super cool. Yo, we got the base set 2 Chansey right there, Jungle Kangaskhan. Oh, my gosh, that is awesome. Looking so good. Now, I did accidentally flip to one page in here, and, and I saw, I think I saw something pretty hype. It's coming up, you guys, I promise. Oh, dude, we got first, or not, yeah, first edition. That is what, like, a different language for sure. Rosanna, I don't even know who, what that is, French maybe? Here we go. Basic Gyarados, Fossil Lapras, a lot of cool stuff. First edition, uh, Fossil Ditto. Man, look how good that is. Hollow looks absolutely beautiful. Vaporeon, Jolteon, man, Jungle. Jungle is is such a beautiful set. I think a lot of people's favorites came out of Jungle for sure. Kaboo Tops. We got Aerodactyl first edition. Fossil Aerodactyl. Articuno looking so good. Zapdos Moltres first edition. Moltres. Oh my goodness, Dragonite, we gotta love Dragonite, beautiful Dragonite, Mew, Mewtwo and Mews, so nice, we got the Black Star promo Mew right here, I don't know if you guys can see this, but there is actually a little swirl in there, looks really good right there, kind of hard to see, gotta love those swirls, we got the Ancient Mew from the movie, oh dude, this is such a nice, nice little uh, reminisce, you know what I mean? Oh, okay, so we're done with the original 150. We're back to it again. Looks like we just start over, but we'll just substitute Pokemon with more Pokemon. I'm down with that, baby. Bulbasaur, Ivysaur, no Venusaur. That's chill, that's chill. Oh, we got Blaine's Charizard this time. Looking so, so good. Blaine's Charizard was one of my favorite Charizards. Of course, I didn't really care for Blaine, but I just loved that art. I've always been a fan of that art. And then we got the uh, Expedition Blastoise. Reverse, too. Oh, and that was also one of my favorite Blastoise arts of all time. I don't know how you could dislike that. He just looks like such a unit. I mean, Blastoise is meant to be just an absolute beast, an absolute unit. And I think that they capture that, like, literally perfectly with that art. Oh, nice. All right, back back at it again. Uh, that that is actually, I thought this was an older set. I must have been lied to. That no, I'm just joking. That is definitely from Evolutions 2016 set. Nothing wrong with that. Man, so nice, so nice. That is a Japanese versus. We got the versus set from what 2000 and 2002 maybe. Japanese only. This set has some sick stuff in it. Absolute grails, and it's in my opinion one of the most awesome Japanese sets ever so I absolutely love that some more heat in here of course another Pikachu we got the base set two Raichu this time last time I think it was the fossil Raichu nice I love that art oh man 
Giovanni's Nido King or or not no not Nido King Nidorino, another Clefairy and Clefable, very nice, love those two. More Nine Tails. We got a base at two Nine Tails this time, and a Dark Vile Plume. Love me some Dark Vile Plume. So nice. And I hope every collector out there stumbles upon or at least gets to just go through somebody's vintage collection just to reminisce through it. Test your knowledge. See what you know, you know. Sabrina's Venomoth. Also, love that card. Very nice. Very nice. Here we go, baby. Blaine's Arcanine. What a nice and beautiful card that is. We got more of the Japanese Versus set right here. I love that set. It's so nice, and I haven't actually looked at it too much. I think that there's some expensive stuff in there. So that's just cool. Love to see it. <laughs> I love to see how we still got it in the uh, Pokédex order. Doesn't matter what set it's from. I love that. I love it when people do that, put it in this order. Blaine's Arcanine, beautiful card. Here we go. Here we go, you guys. This is our first Reverse Hollow from the Leg Legendary Collection. Love that Reverse Hollow. Alakazam can never, never gets old. This, the Legendary, and I know that there is some serious collectors out there about getting, you know, the Reverse Hollow of that set. I think it's very, like, a prestigious, prestigious set. I wouldn't have even tried. Japanese um, Victory Bell right there. Looks great. Got a, uh, another first edition uh, Fossil Tentacruel. Cool. Dark Slowbro. Very nice. Hey, Lieutenant Surge's Magneton. Oh, such a nice card. Such a sick card. Here we go again. Oh, this is the English version of the Sabrina's Gengar. If you guys watched my other time I got a vintage collection, we got the Japanese version, which is banned, which is awesome. I mean, that's one of the coolest things ever is the banned one, of course. Got the graveyard, but there it is without the graveyard. It looks awesome still. Looks very nice. That is such a cool card. That Gengar is so cool. We got Rocket's Hitmonchan. Looks cool. <laughs> I always like loved this Hitmon Lee art. I thought it was super goofy, but I always loved it. I love the go the goofier the art, the better. Treated with another Evolutions Chansey, or not another Evolutions Chansey, but another Evolution card. Very cool. I feel like this set was uh, recently at least set up like this. You know, it's still an old set, but I feel like it was set up. Love this Scyther art. Very nice. And then we've got the uh, another Black Star promo, Electabuzz. So cool. All right, we got some more Vaporeon, Dark Jolteon, Dark Gyarados. Not the pre-release version. That's totally okay, though. Oh, dude, I love this artwork on that Japanese Aerodactyl right there. Beautiful, beautiful card. All right, here, here's another here's another cool thing for you guys. We got another Mew right here, another uh, Black Star promo Mew. This one has no swirl. So when you guys are shopping online and you see, you know, one one of these Mews sells for you know X amount of money, and they say it's got a swirl, that doesn't necessarily mean that yours is worth that much money if it doesn't have a swirl. So, you know, it's easy to go onto eBay and say, oh, I have that Mew. Oh, my gosh, it's worth $200. No, it's it's worth – people People out there, like, love the swirls for some reason. They, they, they'll they sell those swirl version for $200. This one's probably worth, like, you know, friggin' $50. So it's just weird. It's kind of one of those things that, you know, collectors are – they love their swirls, man. Collectors love their swirls. All right, here we go again. Let's go. Keep it going. This is such a fun set so far. This is one of the cooler collections I've ever just seen. It's very well put together. We got first edition from Rocket, both Charmander and Squirtle. Man, I loved Rocket set. I, I got some good friends who are just in love with the Rocket set. Here we go. Reverse Raichu. Beautiful, man. Legendary Reverse Raichu. We got another Black Star promo Pikachu right there. Oh, so, so good. I don't have a lot of these, which is great. I, I did at one point, but... I don't anymore. Light Clefable. Cool. Or no, not Erica's Clefable, I mean. So nice. Look at that e-reader. Raichu right there. 
Oh, I love that Raichu. Vulpix, Japanese, Wigglytuff. Man, Erica's Vileplume. Beautiful cards, man. Hey, more Reverse Hollows. We got a Giovanni's Persian right there. Prime Ape, Machop. I know people love those cards. I love them too, man. I, uh, I wish I would have got on the uh, Reverse Hollow train back when it was actually a viable option. It is not a viable option anymore, unfortunately. But if I do just like somehow get a million dollars, I will totally buy that collection. Hey, we got another another Black Star EV promo. Beautiful. And then we got a pre-release Misty Cedra. I always love the pre-release cards. I love anything that's kind of got just extra stuff on it, especially the Misty's um, Cedra there. Very cool. Man, check this. Check this Mewtwo out right here. Oh, we've got another Sabrina's Gengar. Another English version. So cool. So awesome. Love that. Look at that. Oh, we got the reverse hollow Mewtwo. Jeez Louise. So good. Another, yet another. I think we got the whole set of Black Star promos in this in this, which is so freaking sick. I haven't seen all the Black Star promos together in such a long time. Okay, let's keep going, guys. We are definitely at the end here, but I man, I just can't get enough of this. Some Japanese stuff, Dark Typhlosion, more Japanese, very cool. Oh my goodness. Espeon, one of the best Espeon cards, without a doubt. If you love Espeon, you love that card. More Japanese, gotta love the Japanese, dude. Suicune. We got the Pokemon Forever promo. We got the other Entei. We got two Entei Black Star promos. And we got the Japanese Suicune. We got a Shining Celebi from friggin... What was that from? Oh my gosh. I love that set though. Here we go. Oh my goodness. There's more of the Japanese versus collection. This is the... This set is so sick you guys and it was japanese exclusive i'm pretty sure i, I i'm almost i'm a hundred i think i'm 90 percent sure this didn't get an american release but it is so sick and i wish it would have some of the stuff in here i'm pretty sure people love this set dude i mean i love this set i could only imagine wow holy cow look at this gengar right here look at that gengar right there such a cool art this guy this set you guys you guys are in for a treat right here Look at how sick these are. Look at this. Look at it. Friggin' look at it. Man. This set is so cool. And, and you know what? I just have not looked at the value of these. I don't really know what's what. I mean, I'm guessing if it's hollow or if it's cool. I mean, this. look at that Dragonite. Oh my goodness, look at that Aerodactyl, the Togetic, so beautiful. This set, you guys, is so, so cool. Dude, no freaking way, man. Look at that. Look at that Umbreon. Look at this Entei, that versus Steelix right there. Shut the heck up. I can't believe it, dude. I know this is a sick card. I've seen pictures of people posting this card. That is so cool. That is one of the cooler embryons, Umbreons I have ever seen in my entire life. Holy cow, you guys. We did not just stumble upon this beautiful page of Pokemon cards. So cool. Dude, I'm stoked about that. We got our uh, Ampharos. Dude, I got an Ampharos collector friend out there. I might have to hit him up. Got some more just random stuff. Reverse Nemule. Is it Nemule? Numel. I'm so stupid. Cool. Alright, this is, looks like some more modern stuff. My goodness. What a treat. What a set. That is the end, my friends. Wow. Well guys, needless to say, I am pretty stoked about this binder of cards. Whether or not you get your hands on a vintage collection, I hope one day, you know, if you are into Pokemon, 
you get to look at the set that really got you into it and and just really reminisce on the stuff that you know connected you with this with this hobby back when you were a child that was so much fun i have not seen that versus collection in real life or in person before so that was such a treat of course anytime you open up a binder and you see a charizard of any flavor it's one of the greatest things ever it's one of the greatest feelings ever and dude I'm always on the hunt, always, constantly. If there's a card in here that you thought was really cool, let's talk about it, let's DM about it, hit me up on the gram. Thanks to my friend for letting me check this out. I really appreciate it. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram if you want some more Pokemon content. We'll catch you on the next video.